Uh, Mrs. Brinker, you're a parent and an educator. What's one tip you have for parents right now that's really crucial? I think the most important thing is to stay positive. Listen, I know this is hard for a lot of people right now financially, maybe essential employees, people working two jobs, single parents. You know, even my husband and I are both educators. It can be hard for us to make sure that we're not missing a Google Meet for our kiddo, uh, that all the work is done well. But the minute you start to get negative, uh, and I understand you'll feel overwhelmed, but if you start saying things like, this assignment doesn't make any sense, or you're so lucky you don't have to go back to school for the rest of the year, you're setting yourself up for uh, a child with a negative attitude about school and teachers and the future, which is a very dangerous thing to do. What should a parent do if they just have no clue or don't understand something? It happens. So the first thing I would say to do is make sure that you have read through the instructions completely and reread if it's not making sense or watch the instructional video the teacher has provided. If it still doesn't make sense, reach out and email that teacher directly. And if your child's old enough, it would be most appropriate for them to be the one to email that teacher for clarification because you're not in class with them raising your hand, you know, their hand for them. So try and have them reach out. What's another obstacle that you're seeing as a parent or you're hearing about right now? Uh, a lot of kids are honestly just not doing the work right now, not logging in and engaging at all. And, um, you know, I understand health and safety are the most important. And if there's an issue, please reach out to the school and let them know. But try not to let your kid get even further behind by just not completing assignments when you can. How would you suggest making sure or going about making sure that the work gets done? I would say set that schedule, make a checklist that your child can physically check off, and then make them show you. Don't just take their word for it. Uh, even, even if they think that they're done, sometimes maybe they've forgotten just one small step. Any final do's or don'ts? Yeah, again, I would go back to just being positive. While I am concerned about work not getting complete, that's not my number one concern. We can fix that when we get back in the classroom. What we can't fix is emotional trauma that could be happening at home. That's a lot harder to do. So laugh with your kid every day. Take a break when you do need that. Um, share your strength with them and make sure that you share your calm, not join the chaos. And give some grace and patience to yourself, your child, and their school. We'll get through it. Mrs. Brinker, thank you so much for taking the time again. Great tips. Thank you.